Hello, I'm Sarah from Bristol Museums. In this short film, I'm going to tell you all about the Avon Gorge. Have you ever been over the Clifton Ascension Bridge and looked down? What an amazing sight. Or you might have walked or cycled or been in a car under it, following the banks of the River Avon. So the bridge, designed by Isambard Kingdom Brunel and completed in 1864, is famous all over the world. But the gorge, with its incredible steep, rocky sides, how on earth did it come to be here? So there's a legend about two giants, the brothers Gorong and Giston, and how they formed the gorge as they fought for the love of a giantess called the Vona. But geologists have been studying the gorge for hundreds of years, and they tell a different story. I think it's just as exciting. Should we go down in the rocks and have a look? The rocks of the gorge are sedimentary rocks, mostly limestone with some sandstone and mudstone, and they were formed about 300 million years ago. Things were very different here then. The continents have shifted and this part of the world was nearly at the equator. The land was covered by warm, shallow seas. So sediments like mud, silt and sand settled down slowly through the seawater and over millions of years they turned to rock. I've got some sediment in this jar here. I'm going to shake it up and then we'll come back to it later and see what's happened. Look and you can see the different layers of the rock, a bit like the layers in a cake, and they're separated by bedding planes. These are breaks between the layers where things changed and for some reason the sand and mud stopped settling or the process slowed right down. The oldest layers of rock are at the bottom and they get younger as we go up. The limestones are full of fossils of creatures which lived under the sea, like corals, and sponges, crinoids and bivalves. But perhaps you've noticed something really strange. If these layers of sediment were building up at the bottom of the sea, you'd expect them to be level or horizontal, wouldn't you? But look here, they're all at a crazy angle. Some force much greater than fighting giants must have been at work. To understand this, there's something you need to know about the surface of the Earth. The Earth's surface is made up of huge pieces called plates and everything at the Earth's surface, all the land and water, sits on top of these plates. So different things may happen where these plates meet. Sometimes they might rub alongside each other. Sometimes they might crash together and one might get pushed underneath the other and get melted as it heats down below the surface of the Earth. Sometimes they may come together and push each other up and form new mountains. And in some places they move apart and then magma or molten rock will come between them and form new crust. 290 million years ago, two of these plates collided. It wasn't a quick crash, it took 100 million years. But this process formed the supercontinent Pangaea, you might have heard of it. And we can see evidence of this crash in the Avon Gorge. The impact caused a ripple effect, which we can see in rocks all over the world. Here in the gorge, this is why our sedimentary rocks are at an angle. It's part of a much bigger fold formed at this time. Can you imagine the force it takes to fold rocks like that? Here in the gorge, the impact also caused the Avon Thrust Fault, where one great chunk of rock has moved against another. So that's how the rocks were formed. But how come there's such a deep valley carved through them? 20,000 years ago, things were pretty cold and Bristol was on the edge of a huge ice sheet which blocked the river's course and forced it to change direction and cut through the limestone to form the gorge. Of course, like most areas of science, we're making new discoveries all the time. So our understanding may change. Human beings have had quite an impact in the gorge too. Quarrying over hundreds of years for stone, which has been used in building work all over the city. Because the stone has been cut away, it helps us to see the geology really clearly. Not only is the amazing Avon Gorge a geological treasure, 
It's also a really special place for plants and animals too, one of the top places for rare plants in the UK. Here we can find a tree called the Bristol White Beam, which is found nowhere else in the world, and the very rare Bristol Onion. It's great for wildlife too. If you're really lucky, you might get to see a peregrine falcon, one of the fastest birds in the world. They nest in the gorge. So that's the story of the gorge. We think we're really lucky to have such an amazing place on our doorstep. Perhaps next time you see it, you'll look at it a bit differently.